I think it's a real human. Is it not? Oh my God, is it the robot? That's crazy. I'm something else. And that's what makes me special. So welcome, Michaela. Hi. Thanks for having me. There's been a lot of debate about your authenticity, so today we're going to have you involved in a special challenge where you'll be guessing what's real and what's fake. Okay, cool. I'm a little nervous, but I think, I think I'm think i a pretty good judge of what's real and fake. We're going to be testing you to see how well you can decipher what's real from what's fake. Oh, I'm duped so easily. <laughs> for each round, we'll be discussing upcoming events or showing photos and videos, and you'll have to guess if they're real or fake. All right, all right, I gotcha. So in the first round, we'll be showing you posters of movies that may or may not have upcoming sequels. You'll have to guess if each sequel is real or fake. All right, I'm gonna crush this one. Napoleon Dynamite 2, real or fake? Oh, I feel like everything gets a reboot, dude. Fake final answer, but if it's real, I'm gonna be freaking pumped. I think it's gonna be fake. I was obsessed with the first one. If they made a second one, I would have definitely heard about it. This is fake. Oh, it's gotta be fake. I feel like they would have called me. Like, that's why I've been growing out my hair, is specifically for that, and I've yet to get an email. Fake, there is no sequel. No, it's fake. Why is it fake? Fake. I hope, because that's my favorite movie in the whole wide world, but I think I would have heard something. So no, I think it's fake. You are absolutely correct. There is no way they could do a sequel to Napoleon Dynamite. You're not gonna get me to waste another hour and a half. Damn it! <laughs> I wanted it to be real. <gasps> Space Jam. I think it's real. I'm gonna say, this is fake. This is fake, it's real. I feel like that would have been a big deal on social media. I'm gonna go fake. Yes, that is happening, it's real. This I heard is true. Come on, LeBron's in it. That's real, let's go. I've heard they're trying to do it with LeBron. I believe it's real. The correct answer is real. Oh, wow. I've never been so happy to be wrong. Avatar 2, yes. I've seen Disney's schedule of releasing films and Avatar 2's definitely in it. This movie has always given me nightmares. I'm gonna say that this is real. I think it's real. Real. It's real. Very real. Yes, no, they're definitely making another one. Real, I, there's like five sequels to this in the future. Ah, that's getting like five more movies. Real. So this is real. I love being right. James Cameron is working on four sequels to the blockbuster hit at the same time. Four? I didn't know four. They even have a land at Disney World and everything. So this round will be news clips. Okay, I think I'm gonna kill this one. Laser way for kids. What? Here at Laser Ray, we treat all sides. No. Genders, no way. Skin types, and now this has to be fake. Ages. Here at Laser Ray, we I treat all saw sizes, this. Genders, skin types. We treat all sizes, genders, skin types, and now all ages. What are you lasering? Wait, those are babies. What's going on? Now I know. What See, I know this company exists, and I don't know if this is real or not. What you might not realize is that even one strand of unwanted hair is enough to derail the entire elementary school experience. <laughs> Why would you take that risk? Come on. I love laser hair removal because it makes you look fancy. No, no. Lasers are so painful. You don't laser children. Quick and easy. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Either these kids have way too much money and rich parents, or this is fake. Wait, I'm horrified. This has to be fake. Please tell me it's fake. That's gotta be fake. It's fake. That's fake. That was super fake. This is fake. It has to be. This had better be fake. This was posted on April Fools. This is fake. The correct answer is fake. Okay, good. This video was released by the company Laser Away as a prank on April Fools Day. Totally pranked. I'm glad that was fake. Thank God. Law enforcement in Tennessee are warning residents of so-called meth gators. This after police found a man so-called meth gators. This after police found a man <laughs> That's the best term ever. This after police found a man unsuccessfully trying to flush meth down the toilet, as well as other drug paraphernalia. Oh no, this was real. I remember this. That felt like an article that you'd see on the onion. Fake. It sounds fake, but it's real. That that news center seemed legit. I think it's fake. It feels real. I'm gonna go with real. That seemed pretty real. That's totally real. I saw this on Twitter. Yeah, that's legit. A fucking alligator on meth. That's... That's a whole nother level of predator. So this is actually 
fake. Mm. Damn it, really? I just watched Breaking Bad though and it felt real. Mm. Dang it. I Me, mean, who doesn't want to hear about meth gators? Like, let's be real. Tennessee police revealed that they made a Facebook post about meth gators as a joke to warn people not to flush drugs down the toilet after someone attempted to do so during a chase. <laughs> what the hell? Mm. Meth gators. See, that's fake, but what they're not telling you is that meth ninja turtles, totally real. Iguanas are wreaking havoc on the Sunshine State. The number of iguanas in Florida has soared in recent oh, that's, years. Oh, this is for sure true. Say, the reptiles aren't typically aggressive with humans, but they are causing significant damage to the state's ecosystem. Oh, no. Now, Florida's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is encouraging residents to kill them what? whenever possible. Aww. I mean, let's go ahead and say real. It makes me sad, but this one is believable. I'm going to say... Real. That can't be real. I'm gonna say fake. I think it's real. That seems like it would be a real thing. I mean, especially because it's Florida. I know that one's true. I'm gonna say that one's true. I wanna say that this is real. That one felt real, but that's awful. That's real. Mm. What? Why are we hurting iguanas? It's a little aggressive. So the next round, fashion. Yes, my favorite. I hope you uh, are ready for all wrong answers. All right, up first, a Yeezy Gucci collaboration. That looks sick, but that looks like paint. I think it's fake. I could weirdly see this happening, but Gucci would have to do something extra with it. Fake. Real? That's fake. I'm gonna say fake. I feel like it's fake. That seems like something Kanye West would do. Real. Fake. I feel like Kanye would shout about it way more if it was real. See, I don't think that's real. Cause I feel like I would've heard about that cause I have friends that are sneakerheads. I think that's fake. It is fake. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, see? I know my stuff. So I don't fucking know. I don't even have Yeezys. So next up, we have a Louis Vuitton umbrella bag. Okay, this is actually kind of iconic, though. I feel like this could be real. I don't think it's real. I'm gonna say it's fake. I'm gonna say real. That looks photoshopped. I think it's fake. I can't see people spending Louis Vuitton money to look that ridiculous. It's gotta be fake. It might be too functional to be real, but I think it's real. I can't even tell if a Louis Vuitton bag is real when like someone's selling it on the side of the street. I'm gonna say fake. Their bag isn't waterproof, so they wanna they wanna protect the Louis bag that you have on your backpack, so that's what you have the umbrella for. You know what, f it, I'm gonna say it's real. So this is real. No fucking way. <laughs> what? Really? Okay, see, I feel like certain high fashion brands like to get a little weird sometimes, and this one feels right in that ballpark. All right, and finally, a Chanel and Pharrell collaboration. That's cute. I, I kind of see this being a thing. I'm gonna say, Real. Chanel Pharrell, these are pretty cool. I like these shoes a lot. But let's let's go with fake. That looks real, that looks like real leather. I'm gonna say it's real. See, I know Chanel and Pharrell did a thing with Adidas. Ah, it's real. That's fake. I will say it's real. I am pretty certain these are real. It's more like a Ronald McDonald collab. I like the rhyme scheme, but I'm gonna have to go with fake. He had a collab with somebody. I think it was Chanel. I think it's real. This is real. Cool, oh, it's all right. <laughs> F this game, man. Oh, I hate fashion. I wear the same freaking pants every day. <laughs> Next round, celebrity quotes. Oh God. For this round, all the quotes are real, but the celebrity may not be accurate. If your answer is fake, then you can receive an additional point if you tell us who actually said the quote. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I might fade into Bolivian. <laughs> No, Mike. I half think this is true. I want to say real, real. I want to say this is real. I'm going to say real. I think Mike Tyson would say that. I mean, all those punches to the head. I believe it's real. Real. I'm going to say it's fake. I definitely don't know who said it. I don't think it's Mike Tyson. I think it's fake. I feel like someone said it on reality TV. Was it like Kourtney Kardashian or someone? This is a real quote from Mike Tyson. All right, Tyson, what the f*** were you talking about? He is a talented man. He could kick my butt, but he needs to get his phrases right. My greatest pain in life is that I will never be able to see myself perform live. It seems like something he'd say. Oh, Biebs. I could totally see Bieber saying that, so I'm going to say it's real. I'm going to say it's real. I'm hoping that Justin Bieber didn't say that, so I'm going to say fake. John Mayer? I want to say this is fake. Fake? And maybe this was said by Drake. I think this is fake. I'm gonna go with Kanye West. I think 
This is false? I feel like this is something Kanye would say. <laughs> no, no, that's a Kanye tweet. No, this was, I know who this was. This was, this was not Justin Bieber. This was Kanye West? This is actually a Kanye West quote. <laughs> I believe that. Oh my God. Sorry, Beeps. After I read it, I couldn't help but laugh. I'm like, I know exactly what this is. Run for office? No, I've slept with too many women, done too many drugs, and I've been to too many parties. Donald Trump. That sounds pretty f***ing real. This is very believable. So, I'm gonna say real. He could have like tweeted this. That's yeah, real. I think it's real. Real! Oh, I feel like this is real. No, he said some shit, but I feel like I would have seen that on Twitter more. This might be Kanye too. <laughs> no, it's not Trump. But I feel like it's something Charlie Sheen would say. I'm gonna say it's n not his quote, and I don't know who the original author is. This quote is actually from George Clooney. <laughs> Still also very believable. Oh, okay. I never would have thought George Clooney. Damn. I didn't know George Clooney did a lot of drugs. We have one last thing to show you. Okay. You. Me? I actually have a bonus round for you. Sick. Michaela Sosa. Oh, okay. I've seen her. <gasps> I am a follower. Is she real or fake? She already looks kind of fake. She's already airbrushed too much. I think it's a real human. Is it not? Oh my god, is it the robot? Yes, yeah, I remember this. It looks incredible, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that she's not real. Sometimes trying to be real, whatever that means, makes you feel less real, you know? Oh, that's fake. That is 100% fake. I've seen people like this online. Oh, she was Bella Hadid. This is so weird. I'm so fascinated by this. Like, this is such a fun sort of different account than what you usually see on Instagram. I'm something else. And that's what makes me special. Keith, so that part's CG. The video is CG for sure. That's crazy. Because it's real people in the video, but then there's her in it. Like, it's crazy. So, Michaela? Are you real? I consider anything you believe in to be real. The correct answer is fake-ish. What does that mean? Michaela Sosa is an Instagram model and music artist from Downey, California. She's worked with so many different brands such as High Snobiety, Calvin Klein, and Prada. She also happens to be a global robot pop star and a special guest on this episode of Real or Fake. She's not gonna walk in. <laughs> okay, you guys are about to freak me the f out, man. <gasps> No f***ing way! Dude, that's so cool! I feel so honored. There has to be some sort of entity behind the digital art, and so there's something there of real and of substance back there. She's so unique, and like people are just so creeped out, and she's just a mystery to everybody. That's how she became popular. That's just weird. Man, and uh, I don't know how to feel. She's not a real person. She's fake. For those who don't think I'm a real influencer, you're right. I'm a pop star. Thanks for watching this episode of Real or Fake on the React channel. Subscribe. We have new shows every day. Let us know in the comments how well you did in the challenge. Bye. See you soon. Hey, guys. Mia here. Thanks so much to Michaela for joining us on this episode. Make sure to subscribe to her channel and follow her on Instagram at little Michaela. Bye.